so I just wanted to show you guys my um, stray lining rig that I used to catch really, really big snapper. So I've got a size 10 and a size 8 suicide hook. Um, I've got a little bit of Lumo tube, a little Lumo bead, and it's about a quarter ounce egg, egg sinker. And I use 50 pound fluoro for this rig. So the first thing that I'm going to need is about 2 metres of this, or just over 2 metres of this. You're going to want to cut that with something nice and sharp. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my size 10 hook, and I'm going to take my trace line, and I'm going to run that through the eye of the hook and down the back of the shank. And then I'm going to pinch that between my thumb and my forefinger up quite close to the eye, like that. And then I'm going to grab the rest of that trace line and I'm going to wrap it around that hook, around the eye of the hook. And then I'm going to slowly continue those wraps down the shank. I'm going to put like seven to ten wraps depending on the size of the hook and the size of the line. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to pinch those wraps off nice and tight. And I'm going to take the other end of that trace line. And I'm going to thread it back up through the eye of that hook and slowly pull it through. I'm going to keep pinching those while I pull that line through. And then I'm going to pull it up nice and tight. The finished knot should look something like that. Now, this is a particular favourite knot of mine because there's no choke point in the line. So it's very, very strong. The next step in this trace is I take my little pink Lumo bead and I slide that on the other end of my trace and I feed it all the way down to the hook. Now, there's two reasons I like that there. One is that it provides a little bit of chew protection from the snapper's teeth and the second is it provides a little bit of a spacer when I put my next hook on. So that's the next step actually is I put my put my size 8 hook on and I slide that down the trace and it will sit on top of that bead. So it just keeps a little bit of space between the two hooks and it provides a little bit of chew protection when the snapper bites the line. The next thing that goes on is my piece of Lumo tube. Now that also provides a little bit of chew protection, like a bit of abrasion resistance against the teeth of those big snapper. Thread that down the line and that sits on top of that second hook. And the last thing to go on is my little sinker. So it's about a quarter ounce. Um, I vary the size a little bit depending on how much current there is in the area that I'm fishing. But that's basically how the uh, finished trace sits. Um, I don't like to have my second hook fixed because what this allows me to do is it allows me to use um, a very large bait like half a half a fillet of kawai or a smaller bait like a jack mackerel or any size that I want basically. So the only thing left to do is to tie this end off to your main line or to your swivel depending on what you guys like. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this trace. Cheers.